Israel comes to a standstill as sirens blare nationwide. Hundreds gather at Western Wall ceremony as leaders remember fallen soldiers. Tonight marks the opening of Israel's celebration of becoming an independent state, and Israeli women to light torches at Independence Day ceremony. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the headlines for Monday, May 5th. A solemn undertone could be heard across the country Monday morning as sirens blared nationwide to remind Israelis of the sacrifice that has been given to make Israel's independence possible. People stopped for a moment of silence even on Israel's busiest streets and highways to pay respect to those who have died in battle. Yom HaZikaron is a day of remembrance for the more than 23,000 men and women that have been killed in defense of the country, and ceremonies are being held throughout the day. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's address Monday morning at the official Remembrance Day ceremony for terror victims at Mount Herzl was interrupted by shouts of protest from bereaved families angered at Israel's releasing of Palestinian terrorists on Monday. Relatives of those killed in terror acts have repeatedly voiced their displeasure at Israel's decision to free Palestinian prisoners with, quote, blood on their hands. Israeli leaders marked the eve of Remembrance Day last night as hundreds gathered at the Western Wall to honor the country's fallen soldiers. During the ceremony, President Shimon Peres said that Israel has always sought only peace with its neighbors. <laughs> IDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Benny Gantz also spoke at the ceremony, remembering friends killed in battle who, quote, built Israel's security brick by brick. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said during his Remembrance Day speech on Sunday evening that the sacrifice of fallen soldiers has made Israel's existence possible. After a day of mourning and remembrance, Israelis are preparing to lift their spirits as tonight marks the eve of Independence Day or Yom Ha'atzmaut. Although the past 24 hours were spent honoring fallen soldiers, tonight the streets of the Holy Land will be filled with music, food and parties. Commemorating the Israeli Declaration of Independence in 1948. Each year, the dramatic shift from mourning to celebration is met with barbecues and picnics, and Israeli flags can be seen hanging proudly from many balconies and buildings. A ceremony will also be hosted by President Shimon Peres at his residence, where he will be presenting awards to outstanding IDF soldiers and is also expected to have a duet with Israeli vocalist Rita. An official ceremony is also held each year on Mount Herzl, including speeches, performances, and a torch-lighting ceremony. This year, as chairwoman of the Ministerial Committee for the Advancement of Women, Lamor Liebnut seized the opportunity to focus Independence Day celebrations on women, appointing impressive female figures from different backgrounds and professions to light torches in the official ceremony. Some of the chosen women include 17-year-old head of the National Student Council, Gal Yosef, Holocaust survivor and award-winning actress Miriam Zohar, and world-renowned tennis player Shahar Pear. Read all about these fantastic women on our Independence Day series on jpost.com. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back after the holiday with more headlines. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.